Welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider the concept of properties of uh, DFT. There are around eight to ten properties uh, of DFT. Uh, we'll consider the very first property, which is uh, periodicity. The task is uh, the DFT of any signal is represented as uh, x of k, and we would like to prove that x of k is periodic. So I would write the same thing: x of k is periodic. So if I want to prove anything as uh, periodic, what would be the best approach? Uh, the property, the periodicity property say that x of n, if this is replaced with x of n plus capital N, if these two are equal, we would say that the given signal is periodic. To prove that, what I do is I'll consider the expression for x of k. So what is x of k? x of k is its dft dft of x of n i would write x of k is equal to dft of x of n so what is the expression for this so we know which is uh, equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n to the power k into n so where is w n to the power k n what is that that is the uh, twiddle factor we already know that and uh, wn is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. What we need here? wn to the power k into n. How do I get this? Multiply this also k into n. This is what uh, total factor wn to the power k n. So replace that with, the, with its equivalent. Uh, let's see what do we get summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N here we have k into small n to prove x of k as periodic I need to replace so just write replace every k with k plus n so let's see what we get so here I'll write x of k plus capital N. So I would find k here, replace that with uh, k plus n, which is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. So write this as it is here e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. So now I find uh, k. So k is getting replaced with k plus capital N multiplies with small n. So simplifying this step further, let's see. Summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power. So just uh, spread up these two terms. We would get e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N into k and a small n. So this gets uh, multiplied with e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by n into capital N and a small n. Getting it? I have just multiplied the factors. So here uh, I would get the first term. Here I would get the second term. It is as good as e to the power a plus b which is equal to e to the power a into e to the power b. So looking here, uh, capital N in the denominator and capital N in the numerator we would cancel. Uh, that would cancel. So we would be left with, so let me write that again, summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N uh, divided by capital N k into n. So the first term remains as it is. What happens to the second term? Here I would get e to the power minus j 2 pi into n. Next task is, can I write what is uh, e to the power uh, minus j 2 pi n? What is that equal to? I know that uh, if I could express that uh, using Euler's rule. So I would say it is Euler's rule. So Euler says how to relate complex exponential into its uh, sinusoidal terms. Uh, which says e to the power j theta is equal to cos theta plus j sin theta. So using that I would write 
e to the power minus j 2 pi n equal to cos 2 pi n. It is supposed to be cos minus 2 pi n uh, and cos minus theta is equal to cos theta minus j sin 2 pi n. So why is this minus? Because it is uh, it's supposed to be plus j sin 2 pi minus n. Uh, minus sine of minus theta is always uh, minus sine theta and this would always be 0 because if you put n equal to 0 you would get sine 0 sine 0 is 0 and uh, put n equal to 1 you would get sine 2 pi sine 2 pi is always 0 and uh, n equal to 2 uh, you will get sine 4 pi that is also 0 in that way this uh, term is always 0 and what is this term this term cos 2 pi n is always equal to 1 how just check that put n equal to 0 would get cos 0 cos 0 is 1 put n equal to 1 you would get uh, cos 2 pi cos 2 pi is uh, 1 and put n equal to 2 we would get cos 4 pi cos 4 pi is always 1 hence I would say this term is equal to 1 so this term is equal to 1 what do I get finally finally I would get summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n this is nothing but uh, the trivial factor w n to the power k into n so what is this? This is nothing but the expression of dft which is equal to x of k. Is that x of k? So just go up and check. Uh, here I had written the expression of x of k. Yes, this was x of k which is equal to this. So now also I am getting x of k is equal to this. But what is what do I have in the LHS? LHS I have x of k plus capital N. Hence I proved x of k plus capital N is equal to x of k. Therefore ultimately I would say dft that is x of k is periodic so remember this property it is uh, very important uh, dft of any signal x of k is always periodic uh, hope you have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them in the comment section thanks for watching